Hello, before you watch this video, we're just going to explain a couple things, and I'm going to hand this to Jaguar. Hello, I uh, just want to let you guys know, this is recorded from Jaguar Craft my team's perspective, that's me, obviously, not Daystormer. He's the one showing me around the museum. Also, things in this video kind of went terribly wrong towards the end, but you'll have to watch to see, because I'm not going to do spoilers. Guys, enjoy the video. Welcome to my museum here. Of course, we are in the middle of an area of whatever. Let's go. So, we're going to be entering the town of Herit. Now, of course, I'm going to be sounding like Luigi. Or should I sound like my normal voice like this? The very sad voice. Before we enter, what? how should I sound? Normal, please. <laughs> Okay, I'll sound some normal. Okay, welcome to the town of Harrit. Okay, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sound like this. Okay, so welcome to the town of Harrit. I imagine that it would kind of look something like this because it's old timings. Uh, this map was suggested by Jaguar, by the way, and I accidentally found the same map he sent me on an app. So anyway, let's explore around the village, look around a bit. So. Pretty much. Do you have any questions? What is this? I don't know. It looks like a chamber what? or something. I, I I really it's don't know. Church. I mean... It's maybe like a, a church? It's, it's a medieval <laughs> church. It's a, it's a chapel. Ooh, like a, a chapel. Or a cathedral. Probably not big enough to be a cathedral. It's a chapel. Okay, let me preach for a second. Okay! I don't want this video to get religious. Otherwise, it's against school policy, so we can't we can't do other things. So, again, anyway, we already know that this village kind of looks old timings. So, of course, you can look at your spyglass to look around at certain objects. I mean, I'll look be around good. at certain objects. Looking around at certain objects. Anyway. So we see this very, very suspicious little hole here that literally will take damage if you fall down here. Not that much damage, but, you know. And you can see this beautiful little farm here. I know it's nighttime and it's scary, so watch out for boogeymen. So we don't know if anyone's going to ha happen and come around. You know, it's Halloween season, though. It is Halloween season, so you got to watch out for Michael Myers, okay? Well, well, I just had a stroke. Oh my god. So, yeah. And you know, we don't want to run into Michael Myers, so we have to hurry up and get to the cave. Okay? So, here we go. Well, Fitz, hop and so we, we come to this cave. And of course, know. it's not dangerous. Trust me, I've actually did some very good dusting. So... How you dust off a cave? It's like eternally dirty. Well, I said I did some dusting. I did the best I could. <gasps> Me. I am king. King of weird dragon. Yes. So we're going to go around. So, of course, this little object here with iron bars and uh, end rod is Beowulf's sword. And you broke it. So there you go. It, it already was... broke it. <laughs> I didn't mean to click it. <laughs> I mean, but still. So this is the golden cup that the dragon stole. No, no, not the dragon. I mean a slave stole. And it clearly is golden. Totally a golden cup. Looks like a coffee no, cup this... to me. Co yeah, I know. Mug. It's very coffee dirty. Mug. Yeah, it does look like a coffee mug. It's hey, really hey, dirty. Hey, he stole my... Mm, give that back. So we Quit go over that. here and it says I ate yeah. cheese today. Oh wait, well this is not part of the this is not part of the project. Whoops, I mean not part of that. Anyway, of course, this was the dragon's favorite cup. It was actually stolen by a slave. The slave gave it to the king, and of course, when he gave it to the king, 
he gave it to, and his king said he'll beat him less. He'll less. beat him less. So, like, he'll still beat him, just, just less. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he'll well, beat thanks him for bringing less. me this gold cup. I I'm still gonna beat you. Just, just less. Yeah, pretty much. And then we go over here to Grendel. Well, it's a museum, so it's not really Grendel. Of course, he's very tall, but no, this that's is just clearly Grendel. Clearly, it is. He keeps stealing it. Wait, he's stealing your? Yeah, he look. Oh, look, 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 Grendel, look. you're gonna close get to him, it. He'll but... snatch it. He'll snatch it. Nope, it's mine. You little piece of. Yeah, stop stealing his cup, okay? I think he ripped off more than his arm. His, his, his spyglass. I don't care. I think anyway, he more than rip off his arm. So Beowulf was in a battle with Grendel, of course, and he was in a battle. He went onto Grendel's arm and then tore it off completely. And then, of course, Grendel was very upset about that. I mean, clearly he is upset that he got his arm ripped off, and then he died. Just sitting there, dying, slept to die. And, yeah, we're in the battle scene. And then you come over here. Of course, this it may not be the pieces of a dagger, but then Grendel's mother got very, very mad. He, she wanted revenge. Of course. So Beowulf... And this was the second part, but in the story, Beowulf went and walked underwater for three and a half hours or whatever the heck. And, of course... Reverse Jesus? I don't... I, I, I don't know. Clearly, that's not real. You don't walk underwater for hours on end. But, of course, during the battle, Beowulf's mother just had a dagger and this is her dagger and of course you just whatever i mean come on you just this one? a dagger out of every other weapon What's this you one? had to put a dagger What's this one really What's this one okay so now we go on to another part where they go to the dragon this is part four I mean, this is the sword, so, and then that's the shrunken version of the sword. Yes. So I used, I used a shrink ray to shrink in the giant sword. It's not broken, but it's okay. It 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 was bye bye broken, medium. but it 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 was broken during the dragon fight. Hey, Dave, so you might want to look to the uh, right. What? You might want to look, look over there. Look, look, look where? Over there. Oh, flip! These are getting set on fire! What's going on, bro? Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's dark in- What? It's dark in here. What, what happened to the lights? Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm- need something I'm... that'll bring some light to this place. It worked. I, I got some light. Oh, I already created some light. You're gonna set the you're gonna set this muse museum on fire. Anyway, back to the dragon fight. Where was I saying? Oh right. So Beowulf dra uh, Beowulf vowed to kill the dragon. So of course he went on a big mission and killed tried to kill the dragon. Of course, he succeeded, but he died in the end of the dragon fight. And it was very you're, sad. You're pulling a Beowulf here because you're burning to death. I know. Yeah, because clearly, I'm gonna have to disable this real quick. I mean, I, we're gonna have some technical difficulties here. If people are gonna abuse the fire, then what? 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 Bro, ah! No! 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 Ah! I'm burning! Just like Beowulf. Ah! No, he was. Well, maybe he was burning. To, yeah, he was he did. burning. That's to how death. he died. And he was also bitten by the dragon with his. Yeah, but he also was burning. 
Right, so he was just getting like poisoned. <laughs> no! What? Just stop it! No! No, the museum is precious to me! Stop it! Ah! Ah! Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're, not, you're not very good at keeping away from the fire. <laughs> you're burning the, the- Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, please. Okay, please. No, 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 no. 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 Ah! 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 Oh my gosh, you're my fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> my stuff now. <laughs> Just like Beowulf. Hey, this is the perfect representation of Beowulf. 